is going on? Gunners Live coming at you with another Call of Duty Modern Warfare remastered video here from my campaign series. This is going to be episode number eight, and this mission is called Shock and Awe. I'm playing as Jackson, and we are in pursuit still of Al Assad. He's camping up in the city right now, and supposedly he has a nuclear weapon at his disposal. So we're going to do our best, me along with the other Marines, to go in and capture him and get that nuclear weapon back. Right now, I'm in a helicopter. Looks like I have a grenade launch. You can see me moving around on the screen. So I'm going to shoot some of this stuff, and we're just going to rock with this mission, see if we can finally capture Al Assad or see what's going to happen. Uh, guy in the roof right here. Alright, so I got a bar on the right hand side of the screen that's showing like the heat of this grenade launcher. Alright, so I can't shoot it too much, otherwise it'll heat up and it'll have to cool off, obviously, but I can fire quite a few grenades at the enemies before it does heat up too much. So I'm going to tanks, see me blowing up an anti-air gun right there, see some marine, or not marine, some enemy troops on the ground. I haven't seen any marines on the ground yet. Maybe we'll get out of this helicopter here in a little while and do some oh, recon oh, for outside. Checkpoint reached. Some more tanks. I'm assuming all the helicopters are friendlies. We're controlling the skies pretty well so far in the campaign as far as helicopters and airstrikes go. And then obviously if you play multiplayer, you know the score streaks you can get. One of them is an airstrike, another one of them is a helicopter. Those guys just running away over there, had no chance of getting away from your boy. Is that a tank? Sure is, not anymore though. Unload half your chalk, let's go get off here, or am I getting off later? I want to blow up this car, I can't shoot right now, I'm on the ground, that's the right trigger. Friendly tank, wow, just destroyed that car. There goes some marines from the chalk. I guess that second tank didn't want to hit the car. Look at this water though. Keeps running out of the water. This game's so realistic. As far as the graphics go, even though it's been out for however many years, they remastered and did an amazing job. I can shoot the grenade launcher once again though. Make sure I don't shoot any of my allies. Come on, let's get this bad guy. Put an end to this madness. Low key, this hill right here, this little mountain foot field, kind of looks like GTA 5. Low sound. What? I just took a shot in my helicopter. My screen is straight red. I guess I'm about to get out of the helicopter here in a second. We're going to load the ground. Why am I chilling in this helicopter? Nope, I'm getting out. Got an M4, some grenade launchers, and 1911 pistol. Jazz Kez is the leader the once again. Let's we'll so rock. See at the bottom of the map. The yellow circle, that's the checkpoint where we're headed to. 62 meters away right now. Thought I shot that guy. Apparently I did, just not enough to take him out. Another you know enemy had some more to go on, dropping a nade right there. Martyrdom and matchmaking you know, on shipment is like the craziest thing. I don't know if y'all played it, but shipments like the small map. If you have martyrdom on, or if the enemy team has martyrdom on, oh, it's just a grenade fest. Good job, Marine. Pursuing the enemies in this building. Homie was throwing a stone or a flashbang or a grenade or something. Switch to a pistol, popping shots. Gotta be. <gasps> what? He not dead? Oh my gosh, I went to look at the guy on the ground because I thought he was crawling. I thought that's what was going to make me red and kill me, but it was like the guy on the ground was dead. And the guy that was camping behind this piece of wood was the one that was indeed still alive, doing damage. Okay, guys, I did not know y'all were up here. So you're alright out of here? We're in, Captain. Let's move out before they recruit. The friend was over there. We're jumping out now. What is, is this like the map backlog? Is that where this map's from? Or what? Because we've already come across some map like Bog. Yeah, I should not have run up here. I need to run back. Like Bog. Crossfire. I think this might be similar to the backlog map. Oh my gosh, there's so many enemies. Low key, I feel like I need to just throw some grenades in that building. Maybe take the guys. Do they have turrets or no? 
They just have weapons. Grenade indicator? That's not good. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm trapped in the corner. Oh, I'm not dead. Look at that corner out there. I couldn't go any farther back because the grenade indicator was on my screen. Somehow, I was still good. And I don't know why. I thought, is there never been a mini map in the top left of matchmaking? Because I know if I press star, you saw the mini map right there. Why is there not a mini map in the top left of matchmaking? This guy's crawling away. He's done. I need to clear this house. I just want to make sure he's gone. Knife. He's gone. Go flashbang through this door. And we will attack. This guy seems unaffected. These guys all seem unaffected by the flashbang. Are they done? Is that a smiley face or a wall outlet? I'm not sure. Let's see, now I take over the building. I have a power position over the enemy players here in the campaign. I help my squad push up. Got that holographic sight here on the M4 carbine. Apparently, this guy does not want to die because you can see his RPG still sticking up. And now he's dead. Everybody else appears to be eliminated as well. So we're still making our way to a checkpoint. This is definitely the back lot map. Like I'm not saying this is exactly back lot, but it has like the same terrain as far as the buildings go. Like the same sort of look to it. Back in the helicopter now. So I guess right there we just rescued some Marines. Yeah, we're back, homie. Let me get on this Mark 19 grenade launcher. Over. Go ahead, command, over. SEAL Team 6 has located a possible nuclear device at Al Assad's palace to the west. Located. Death teams are on the way. Until the device is verified safe, all forces are to fall back to the east. Over. All right, we're falling back to hey, supposedly kind hey, of a nuclear over. device. Whoa, this helicopter's falling down or scratching? That's not good. Okay, we can go get that or something. We're going down. They're doing a bunch of spins right now. That is not good at all. We have a cobra down. Cobra is down. Cobra down. Wow. Land is down here. We can go yeah, rescue them. Come in, over. No bad guys below me? There sure are. I'm I'll shoot this grenade right launcher right quick. Yes, permission granted. Go get these guys. Come on, we gotta go rescue these guys. Can you see the helicopter down there on the ground? We will have those explosive tanks on the top of that building. Yo, we need to get the homie pilot and anybody else that was in that other chopper ASAP. Retrieve the pilot. We have 1 minute 27 points up the seconds. Run down the street. Is that a bad guy? Sure is. Some more bad guys. I'm trying to get to the pilot. I'm running down the street. Come on, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out of the chopper! We gotta go. Still have over a minute left to get back to the chopper. That was a quick evac. Come on, back to the chopper. Dude, I know you didn't just shoot me, bro. You okay? Now I'm in the back of the chopper. Why can't I get on the M19 grenade launcher again? I guess I'll guard y'all. You can't shoot right now either. Maybe I'll die to ammo. I'll throw a grenade down. Get out of here. Confirm nuclear threat. Okay, that looks like the nuke just exploded and blew up. Yeah, everybody's going down. Choppers are falling out of the sky. That is definitely not good. Hold on to him, bro. Hold on to that guy. He's gone. That's a bummer. So we just rescued a chopper and now we're going down. And another chopper. Is that the bad day for the pilot if they're in two choppers they get hit within five minutes of each other? And then they probably die because that was a nuke. I think this is actually the end of the mission, shock and all, and we're going into the next mission right now, if I remember correctly, which is called Aftermath. And it's just a short mission where you're Jackson crawling around on the ground after the nuke goes off and then he eventually dies.
So the Jackson character we've been playing as is about to be KIA. Let's see. Like 30,000 Marines died or something according to Wikipedia when I was reading it earlier today. Sergeant Paul Jackson, you see it in blue there. Unfortunately got taken out. And it's not like Al Assad that set off the nuke either. You learn in Modern Warfare 3 that it was actually, I want to say, Makarov. I want to say he's the one that set off. I may not be 100% correct on that, but I want to say Makarov, who's a bad guy later on in Call of Duty, set off the nuke here in the city. But he was at least part of the group that did. So this is the aftermath mission now. We're no longer in shock and awe. Shock and awe, obviously, the nuke blew up. That was a shock and awe. And now aftermath is we're crawling around in the down helicopter. And then eventually Jackson is going to be KIA. Buildings falling down, debris everywhere, fire, smoke, dead people, I'm sure. Probably a lot of radiation. Just fell out of the back. There is the mushroom cloud looking deal. There's someone. They're about to die, probably. Unfortunately. And then someone else in the distance. Unfortunately, they passed away as well. A rather sad mission this is, to say the least. Fire hydrant there in the middle of the street. Well, I guess not in the middle of the street, but on the sidewalk in the middle of the screen. Still intact. And I think Jackson, you hear him right now? Sounds bad. that's not good so that's pretty much gonna be the end of this video shock and awe mission done aftermath mission done act one is now complete so the next video we're gonna be moving on to act number two and then eventually act number three but that's gonna go for now if you enjoyed this video episode number eight be sure to leave a like and subscribe new videos next day here on my channel i'm gonna live thanks so much for watching i will see you in the live stream tonight for another video Somebody to play this. Yeah. Take my song, put it on a plate, and get goosebumps every time they play it. Wait, this.